Zadrizes bus darīs, kas tev. Hey! Typically, my videos aren't in this format, but let's jump right into it. HBO just released on their Twitter a four-minute in-depth behind the scenes trailer it's awesome because we got like a 10 second extended comic-con trailer that was basically the same thing just a few extra scenes right i was actually working on a video breaking that down i was working on a plot leak video but then this happened so here we are let's go ahead and jump right into it i can't share the audio because the video will be flagged but i'll try to talk about this stuff as it appears so here we go What's good about Thrones? What right. worked in Thrones? What didn't? What do we want to better? How do we want to evolve the style? It wasn't just a prequel for prequel's sake. There was then, in this image right here, I'll blow it up for y'all. We have, at least, at least if I'm not mistaken, these are. This is our first image of young Aegon the second. Uh, a it could be Jacaris Valarion, right? So the strong boys and the greens, the greens and the blacks would practice with each other in the yard, and they were known to be, um, at least in their father's eyes, forced to sort of grow up together. Like a few of them have the same milkmaid, and that forced closeness actually made them drive further apart. The hate that Alicent and Rhaenyra carried towards each other, right? Because obviously, I mean, the trailers made it clear, right? A queen could never sit the Iron Throne, but the king has sons with Alicent, and they are still put aside for Rhaenyra, even though in all of the laws and established tradition in Westeros, which is as good as laws, there's never been a queen. There isn't supposed to be a queen. So the fact that the king has male heirs and is putting them aside for his female heir Rhaenyra, who's his oldest daughter from his first marriage, Emma Aaron, that hate travels from Alicent and Rhaenyra to their children. So when they're practicing the yard, this appears to be the King's Landing training yard, right? It's obviously before King Viserys decides to send them away to Dragonstone so that there's no more public fights between Rhaenyra and Alicent, right? Um, this is that clip. And this appears to be the younger version of Aemon over here to the left. And it looks as though Jacaris may be fighting the younger version of Aegon II. Was actually a reason to tell this. Or it could be Aemon one eye. It's, it's kind of far to tell. Story. The Targaryens are the fascinating Swing dynasty that we don't really know much about Targaryen, from the original books Targaryen, because at that point they've all died. Funeral. This is an awesome shot. This is a shot of Damon and Rhaenyra and younger Alicent. The actors who are playing them are younger. So this is most likely Emma Aaron's funeral, right? It's possible that it is Lena's funeral, right? Uh, we've gotten clips of um, what appears to be uh, House Valarion guardsmen pushing a sarcophagus into the ocean. And this is how House Valarion bury their dead on the TV show. Um, but this could also be uh, Lena's funeral because, like I said, Alicent, um, I don't, I mean, I guess she could be present at Emma Aaron, uh, Rhaenyra, mother's funeral but i feel like it would be a little bit out of place to have allison who eventually marries the king who has rumors of sleeping with the king before emma aaron's death it would be inappropriate to have emma aaron there so i think this is lena's funeral um and damon is married to lena at this time and then when rainier is older she marries damon so I, it's kind of hard to tell but let's just keep watching the clip because i haven't actually seen this trailer yet so we could see more footage later on that confirms that hey this is emma aaron's death uh, not Lena's funeral. I doubt. There was this once great day where there were dozens of Targaryens running around and a bunch. Those are our first images of the conceptual art for. Out the from the dragon. original books because that's at that point they've all died out. There was this huge. once. Look at that. Well, I mean, that's obviously King's Landing. It's a great the day where there were dozens of Targaryens yeah. running around and. Yeah, that thing looks awesome. Woohoohoo! Yeah, buddy. A bunch of dragons Amazing. and they ruled over Westeros. It was a time of peace and prosperity. This looks like the uh, Balerion skull, the concept art for Balerion skull. And everybody knew that if you messed with the Targaryens, you would get the dragons, oh, right. so nobody dared to overthrow them. 
this period in Westeros was a very decadent time. So you get to Damon and Caraxes probably landing at Lena or Emma Aaron's funeral. See what the realm looks like this before kind of looks it like descends the into the almost. detritus and post decadence of war that you see in the original because series. Because Emma Aaron is a granddaughter of the old king, she's still a member of House Aaron, and maybe they go back to the Vale to bury her there and they light the funeral pyre in the Vale to be symbolic of both houses. But like I said, Alicent shouldn't necessarily be there unless she's there because her father, Otto, is the Hand of the King. So maybe I guess it is a bit appropriate for Alicent to be there um, because we do know from the trailer, Alicent says the King has to remarry. Like, you're the King. You have to remarry. So I was fascinated in going back to that time and seeing the Targaryens at their height and learning what it was that Daenerys lost in trying to win back throughout the story. The original Game of Thrones was very much an epic that was weaving together various different threads. It still has that. Oh, wow, that's our first image of Aegon. Like, well, no, it's not, because we've seen him giving the camera a thumbs up in that behind the scene trailer, but. Various this is different awesome. threads. This is, a scene, this is the scene in which, uh, most likely, because this is the older version of Aegon, where maybe he declares my nephews are three strong boys who knows it's kind of so hard to tell from these like, behind it the still scenes. has that scale and scope but it's really just the story of one family slowly tearing itself apart this is leno riding a the new setup for the dragon she is on vagar at this time so vagar is the biggest dragon look at this saddle it is amazing like it's got it's got several different handles for her to hold right so it looks like when vagar is diving deep down into the air she can lean forward and grab those handles that are higher up on the saddle and then when she's riding more casually perhaps looking back at caraxes and daemon that's a key thing because caraxes and vagar's toits fates are intertwined right spoiler warning they're very much intertwined right so that's that's awesome it's got like these massive wind blowing machines so that we can see all of the uh amazingness of the targaryen wig flowing behind lena who is if you're unaware corliss valerion's daughter rainy is his daughter as well wow yes she was she's looking back at caraxes so we are going to have that scene where vagar and lena go across to the ruins of old valyria and i don't want to talk too much about that because that's literally one of the specific things that i just filmed for that leak video i'll try to have it out today but i don't know how it's going to go then we get some shots with a baratheon soldier fighting at the tourney there's a wish fulfillment for an audience of things they want to see we're not here to not give it to them we're here to famously loses this battle and is embarrassed in front of a lot of the higher-ups in Westeros, and this is also what uh, makes the hate between Kristen Cole and Damon more real of a thing. Damon is a is is a great, amazing dragon knight. He's an amazing fighter, but Kristen Cole is just better. There's always somebody better than you. Give them the thing that they wow. want, just not in the way he that they're expecting. We're not out. trying to. And you got to realize that it's not just Prince Damon. It's Prince Damon, the rogue prince, right? This dude has his ego handed to him. On a coal platter. It's Rehash awesome. the past. We're trying to find something fresh and exciting. We wanted to very much embrace the feel and the world of Game of Thrones, but we had the flexibility to enlarge and enhance. But there was this very strong feeling that we wanted the audience to feel they're in the same show. The first time I walked on set where King's Landing's been built, I I mean, I, I feel like no one told them that that isn't how films are made now, that you don't have to build the whole castle. But no, it's all there, and it's all in the right place. You read the script at home, and you imagine the scene, and then when you come in, it's always um, twice the size you imagined it. You walk around these sets that look like ancient monuments and buildings with massive statues, or you can be on these amazing locations. You cannot believe that this is on the earth somewhere this extraordinary. The other she ever given from was absolutely brilliant, and the costume were brilliant. So it was not a question of doing better, it was just a question of doing something beautiful. Yes! 
We had said to ourselves, we're going to pull our horns in on season one. Not only aesthetically, we're going to start in a it, more it, grounded, it, it, it more intimate way. But even with our horns pulled in, being so real that the actors themselves, when they're on set in costume, feel like they're actually in Westeros, right? So that's all part of how amazing House of the Dragon is going to be. Is they've gone above and beyond. Um. What made Game of Thrones so great? Like, they're paying homage. They're not saying they're better than Game of Thrones. They're just making this show feel like Westeros again. They're making Westeros great again, right? So then the last little bit of this trailer about, for this video anyway, uh, I kind of just skipped around a bit, is... Uh, Okay, so because Twitter's page was like freezing this video and can't blame them because it's probably being watched like a million times right now, but we got an image of Abe and what I on set, full in costume, talking to Lucerus Valerian is what is potentially storms in. This is going to be the season one finale of the show, The Battle Above Storms End, or Shipbreaker Bay, or the place where Robert Baratheon was born and watched his father die out at sea while trying to bring back Patched Face across the narrow sea and i believe if i'm not mistaken the, the the mad king sent him there to go and try to find a bride but robert and stannis watched their father die in shipbreaker bay and that's going to be the location of this fight between who i believe i believe this is lucera strong <laughs> i'm doing dips in my chair this is amazing like i'm team blacks obviously rainier was in the right but you gotta realize that none of these people are right. By the end of this story, they're all wrong. So I can have my favorites on either side. I am a true Targaryen fan. But we got the clip of him staring down his nephew Lyceris, and it was amazing. One of the last things I want to mention that we saw in this trailer is, this is the first actual footage we see of the fire at Harrenhal. Like, we kind of hadn't... We know that that's going to happen in the first season, right? So, it's sort of a rumor. Like, basically, what happens with Harwin Strong, who is um, uh, Rhaenyra's lover, so to speak, uh, potentially the father of Jacarys, Lucerys, and Joffrey, all of her actual children, right? He, along with his father, dies in a fire... And his brother, Laris the Clubfoot, is uh, still the master of whispers. But the fire was either caused by Damon or King Viserys. At least that's what fire and blood makes us believe. And this, I believe, is uh, that fire at Harrenhal. It looks like this is uh, Laris. Laris would potentially be, I guess, not at Harrenhal when this happened. But I guess, I guess for the show they're making it. Um, it looks as though he's going to maybe get to say a final word to his father or his brother, um, the strongest man in the Seven Kingdoms, but after he fights Kristen Cole, he's known as Breakbones. Then we get a shot of Rhaenyra with her strong boys, right? This is Lucerys and Jacaris after the fight with Aemon. Uh, this is after Aemon's eyes obviously slashed out. We've seen... Um, another version of this scene in the trailer, in the teaser trailer, and then in the first teaser trailer, right? This is where Alicent very much grabs that knife that was used to slash out her son Aemon's eye and runs towards Rhaenyra, and they have like a tango dance-off, right? And then they're stopped by the King's Guardsmen. This is a shot of Rhaenyra consoling her children after that actually happens. Okay, the last things I want to talk about for the last couple seconds of this trailer is obviously right after Rhaenya says... I hope you guys get all you want, the dragons, and they show dragons. Now, we get a shot. I know that looks like that right there where my little cursor is. That looks like that's going to be multicolored flame for this series, but I don't think so. That's probably just the hottest part of the flame. But this looks like, after some deductive reasoning, there is Viserys right there. There's Rhaenyra. There's Daemon. There's Alicent. Um, Lena's not dead yet. So this is Emma Aaron's funeral, right? Looks like it might be taking place in the Vale because Emma is how, of House Aaron of the Vale, right? Um, and, but it looks like this might be Lena on Vagar lighting Emma Aaron's funeral pyre. And it's kind of ironic because one of the next funerals that we see is Lena's funeral. And obviously, uh, she's buried at sea. So this will kind of be interesting. Um, but then we get a shot of Caraxes. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this long neck boy. Long neck boy right here. Yeah, baby. Long neck boy. Um, and then we get that same shot of Damon in the trailer stealing an egg. That, 
I believe could be Caraxes again, judging by the tail, or maybe Meili's, right? Maybe that's Meili's, the red queen. <laughs> And that looks like a good spot to wrap this video up. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you could, please slap a like on this video and turn your notifications all the way on because I've got another leaked video coming out. But beware, if you don't want any spoilers, don't watch that video because it's filled with them.